YouTube. Hello, my name is Plain Jane. I have finally joined after probably about two years of watching BookTube from afar. I've decided that now is my time. And what better time than 12 hours into BookTubeathon 2017? So, unfortunately, my time zone has already begun, so I'm very behind on this whole thing, but I'm going to give it a go anyway. So, if I'm <laughs> flustered and um, floundering, please forgive me. I don't know how to edit videos. So this is going up exactly as it gets recorded and I'm going to learn from here. So the first challenge that my books meet for Booktubeathon is to have someone on the cover. So I don't know if you can see that, but there is a lady. There definitely is somebody. This book is called Invisible Others by Karina M. Skazurik. Can you even make that out? I mean, that's kind of a crazy name, right? Um, so she was the fifth and last wife of Andre Brink, who was a very well-known South African writer. And uh, she is a solid writer in her own right. So this is one of her first books, I suspect. And the back is sounds pretty intense. But I'm hoping to read it quickly. Maybe it's going to be my read in one day. We'll see. Very excited about this. Just found it at a new bookstore in Vintook. By the way, I'm living in Vintook, Namibia. So um, our access to books, you know, popular books that have just come out, it's kind of limited. It's difficult to find books, although I have just found two very good bookstores, which um, I will maybe do videos about on their own at some point. And I found this at one called Namibia Book Market and was very, very, very excited about it. So that's the first one. The next one is Confessions of an Advertising Man. This is something I'd like to read. I don't know why it's not auto-adjusting, sorry. So if any of you know anything about marketing or communications or PR, you'll know the name David Ogilvy. He is a titan of the advertising industry. And um, I come from a PR and communications background, so I'm very interested. I've had this on my shelf for quite a while, and I mean, it's seen better days. <laughs> but um, I haven't read it yet, so I'd really like to read this and um, just see what he has to say about the industry. Then the next book on my list, and this might be one that I'm going to think about reading outside. You know, it's, it's winter here in the Southern Hemisphere. And um, that doesn't mean much in Ventook because actually the middle of the day is pretty hot. So I'll see. Maybe I'll sit outside with the kids one day and read this. This is the Gen Squash Dokaloshi, Rachel Zadok. I suspect also a South African author, although I didn't actually check up on that. Uh, it was given to me by my very best friend in the world. So um, I'm very excited about reading this. I'm hoping to read that this week. Then, this is something that I've also wanted to read for a long time. This is Cormac McCarthy, On the Road. Or, uh, is it On the Road or The Road? The Road, I think. It's got a sticker on here, as you can see. And uh, that's because I got this at an airport lounge recently. And um, so, very excited about that. Love free books. Then, um, this one <laughs> has been on my shelf for a while as well. And I really want to read it because I started reading it to my four-year-old and the sentences are actually really convoluted. So it's difficult to keep a young child interested, which is funny because it's a kid's book, right? But um, I would like to read it for myself so that I know where it's going and then I can read it for her, hopefully. So, so far, I only have these five books. Now, what I'm going to do, because you're supposed to read seven books, what I'm going to do is go to... Book Buddy Namibia, which is on Nelson Mandela Avenue, and go and see for a book that catches my attention just because of the cover. Uh, that's one of the challenges. I recently read Zakes and Dar's Little Sons, and I should have kept it with me now, but anyway, <laughs> a little bit not organized, sorry. And totally bought it for the cover, and it was so worth it. I absolutely loved it, and I put a review already up on Goodreads for that. So I should have held on to that. I should have kept it for this week, but I didn't even know about this booktubeathon until last night. So I'm going to go quickly to the bookstore, see if I can't find something that grabs me because of its title, 
and then I'll add that to the list and then the goal is to read seven books that's also one of the challenges I don't know about that with two little kids around I'm gonna do my best uh, but yeah I just wanted to join the community and take part in the uh, booktubeathon and just say thanks to all the youtubers booktubers out there that have started this community and that are doing it I'm really excited to be a part of it Play Joan out!